Hey guys, it's Mr. G, Mr. Wells. Um, so we're starting a new unit on Unit Eight, and we're working with um, graphing linear uh, linear equations. So for the first day, we gave you the line, and what you need to give us is the equation of that line. So as soon as you think or hear linear equations, automatically I want you to think of y equals mx plus b. Okay. Uh, and when you're given a line, um, the first thing I would do is find out where your B value is. And remember we said let B is your initial value, it's your beginning. It's where it crosses the Y axis. It's your Y intercept, okay? So where does this line cross the Y axis? Well, I think we can see let it crosses right here at this point, and it looks like it's a positive one. So B would be one, all right? M is a little bit trickier. M is your slope, it's your rate of change, it's also known as your rise over run. And so what I do is I start at the beginning, I start at my initial value, and I go up the line and see where it um, crosses your crosshairs, where it's right on the corner of the block, because I gotta see, I have to see where the line hits each coordinate evenly, okay? I always think of them as like your crosshairs. All right, so now I always rise first, because I always go up, so it's rise over run, so it looks like I'm going from this point to this point, I'm gonna rise two, that's a positive two, and I'm gonna run to the right, and we know that right is positive, three units. So now I'm just gonna plug in my M and B, so it's gonna be Y equals 2 over 3, x plus 1. Number 17 in the notes today. It's a little bit different. Um, looks a little trickier because the scale is way off. The scale is different here. On the x-axis, you can see that the scale is counted by 1s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But on the y-axis, we're counting by 10s here. 10 up to 50. So it's not uh, a very consistent scale. So we have to think about that when we're doing this. Uh, first things first, write down y equals mx plus b because we're looking for the equation of this line. And then I'm going to write down b and m. Looking at my y axis, it intercepts at 30, clearly right there, the number 30. So I know that b is 30, the initial value. Initial means starting point. And now I'm looking for m which is my rate of change, how is this line changing from this point to the next point on the line? And I can see that these are marked pretty clearly for me. If I go up this line, I can see the next point where it crosses exactly in a crosshair is right there at 240, and you can see it again a couple of times. So I'm seeing rise over run. Looks like we're rising up one space but it's not just one though, it's actually 10 because we're going from 30 to 40. So there's actually 10 little spaces in that one block. So we're really rising 10. And we're running over two spaces, but how much is each space this time? It's just two, so we're rising over two. We're running over two. So it's 10 divided by two, which is five. So my rate of change for this one is five. I now have my B and my M. I can take these two, plug them into our equation, so this equation for this line is y equals 5x plus 30.